If you've got family in town for the holidays this week, maybe you're looking for something fun to do. You might want to check out the brand new Museum of Illusions. It just opened on Pittsburgh's North Shore. Krista Rose with a fun excitement here. He got a first hand look at the unique place and he has a lot more insight into the magic of its exhibits. The Museum of Illusions Pittsburgh is a mind bending menagerie of oddities that embraces all kinds of optical tricks that are both interesting and fun. This museum started a few years ago in Europe and now has several locations in the U.S. Currently, Pittsburgh's museum is the second largest in the country behind the one in Las Vegas. Kenny McKernan, the sales and marketing coordinator for the museum, says that this place that has over 80 different interactive exhibits looks to enlighten and entertain. What we really love about this place is when we say that we're an edutainment company, that we educate you and we entertain you. So there's so much entertainment, obviously, you can see that right off the bat with the illusions that trick your eyes and things like that. But next to all the illusions is we offer a little explanation on why your brain's seeing it that way, why your eyes interpret it that way. So that's one of the reasons that we want to get really involved with the schools in the area. We want to get kids in here because it's we sort of trick them into learning, which is a lot of fun for us. There's a lot here at the Museum of Illusion in Pittsburgh that both meets the eye and tricks the eye. For example, am I standing on a pedestal or am I falling through an infinity portal? Pretty cool, huh? Some of the other people having fun at the museum today were Caroline Moore and Mila Stanovich from Shadyside. They say that they first went to this museum in Edinburgh, Scotland last year, and they were very excited when this one opened here locally. I love this locker room setup, and I also love the uh, kaleidoscope photo tube. That one's really good. I also like the locker room setup and I like the thing that's like a bridge and it just spins around and it, so it feels like you're spinning with it. I went in that thing and I got dizzy. Did you get dizzy? Not really. So whether you're young or young at heart and looking to have a little fun that's outside the box, you might want to check out the newest and most peculiar museum in town. Just make sure your phone is fully charged because you'll probably be taking a lot of pictures. Reporting on the North Shore, Chris DeRose, KDK TV News.